Hi, I'm Daniel. And I'm Morgan. And today we're going to show you how to build a window garden. If you live in a high rise with limited space, a window garden is the perfect solution. You can grow indoors all year round. And the best part is, you can pluck fresh herbs and salad greens right from the comfort of your own home. We'd recommend building your window garden out of recycled materials. They won't cost you anything and it's best for the environment. So, first step is get some recycled bottles. Yeah, any container you can find will work. It depends on the size of your window. It's nice to have them all the same so they all fit into each other well. So, the first thing we want to do is drill a hole into the bottom of each of your bottles. We want to interconnect all the bottles together. Right. To make one solid system. Mm -hmm. So first drill a hole. <laughs> and now we're going to switch a bit to this one inch piece. And we're going to carve a hole perfect so the second bottle can twist right into the top bottle. There we go. So we have the perfect hole and this is going to fit right into it. We're going to be using uh, baskets that have um, holes in them because we want the water to be flowing through our whole system. And we want to make holes in the bottles that are perfectly sized for these baskets. We are going to be using clay pellets and soil. And the clay pellets, what they're going to do is they're going to filter for us the nutrients that we're going to add to the system. Perfect. So we can fill each basket up. Kind of looks like dog food, but it is made of clay, I swear. So what we're going to do next is we're just going to show you how to mount these bottles and then put the plants in. Great. So um, at the bottom of our system is going to be a water sort of bucket where our pump will be able to take its water and um, send the water to the top of the system and flow right down. So you don't want to put your bottom bottle all the way at the bottom. You want to go a little higher. So we're using these little washers because what can happen if you throw a screw in there, the screw can just tear through the bottle. So making sure you're holding on to that pole, right? And I'm going to start this screw incredibly slow until it bites through the plastic and into the piece of wood. So we put two in, um, that's really important for structural support. You want, don't want just one because it can flip around in circles. With clay pellets and soil and a plant, that's a bit of weight. So we just want to make sure it's steady and good. Yeah, and I have to say, we're using these materials because these are the materials we had on hand. We actually didn't buy any of this. Part of the fun of making the window garden is designing it yourself. You generally know what you're doing, but you can make it any way you want. For kids. Ah, oh, wow. Ooh. That went all the way through. <laughs> okay. Is there anything I can do to help? Take 52. Shall we? <laughs> so we're going to adjust the way we're doing this. We're going to use gravity to help us. Perfect. Amazing. There we go. So remember when you're about to assemble this all that none of the caps should be on the bottles because we want water to flow through the whole system. So um, let's get these plants in there. We'll start with our baskets with the clay pellets, which is our filter system. And we'll put each one in. Go ahead, Morgan. When you're transplanting plants, you're kind of putting them into shock and we want to introduce them into their new home with as much of their comforts as possible. So it's good to uh, water the roots of your plants before you transplant them. Do you have the water, Morgan? Here we go! Morgan seems to have everything right on hand. Yes. So we'll water it a bit on the, on the top. So we're gonna add a bit of extra soil to each little compartment. Kind of give it as much soil as possible because we picked really tiny plants that like to be small. It's okay if they're spilling out a bit. Mm -hmm. 
See, this is interesting. So they fit quite well there, but then the roots are exposed to light. Yes. What does that mean? It means that we should have painted the bottles beforehand. And that's what you can do. Um, we, we're gonna finish our window garden without painting it, but when you're making your window garden, it's best to use some white paint on the side and you know you can decorate your bottle and that way the roots, as they like to be, are gonna feel like they're underground. You could wrap it in cloth, right? Which also helps to keep in moisture and stuff like that. You yeah. could do anything you wanted. We are using paint because we have paint left over. This one is what? It's oregano. The window we've chosen to put this uh, window garden up on is right over the sink. So it'll be perfect to pick as I cook. So welcome to your new home, oregano in time. And in your window farm, you'll have this part covered up so that the roots are protected from the sunlight. Yeah, and what I might even do is, you know, wrap tape around there as well. Okay. To really hold that plant in. Okay, the next one, what do we got? I'm feeling fennel. Yeah. I'm spreading them out a little bit so they catch more sunlight. You know what? Let's do some kale. Kale? Kale's a really nice green. And the best thing about having kale in this is as it gets bigger and too big for your window garden, you'll trim it and eat it. So you'll constantly be taking care of it, keeping it nice and small so it's happy in its home. So right how much there. does that weigh right now? I don't know. Two pounds? Yeah. Two pounds? Between two and five pounds right now. Okay. Um, so we need to create a structure that's gonna hold that. So this is our window. This is a window. And we have this rack. We put these little things in, these little hooks, right? And to support this rack, and we're gonna use just really quick zip ties. To make sure it's very secure. Yeah. So we're gonna use this extra piece of beautiful birch as a structural support. It works with our window. Our window will still be able to go up and down. Awesome. Ooh. So we have a really steady uh, structure for our window farm. Ooh. And there you go. What we want on the bottom is a basket or a bucket for our water reservoir. And we have this pump. This pump is a submersive pump, so we can put it right into the bucket. Nice. And throw that up here. We're gonna put our stick inside of there. We want the water to be dripping right down into the bucket. So make sure that everything is aligned so that your water flows down because it's gonna be flowing right back to the top of the system. That's what the pump is gonna be doing. Absolutely. And because we want the sunlight from the window to actually grow these plants, we're gonna turn it on its side like that. I'm gonna throw another screw in there. So here we go. Perfect. Super steady. Beautiful. And now we have this tubing. Remember we made a hole in every single bottle, so this is gonna go right to the top. Ooh, there hello. you go, Morgan. Ooh. And this bottom part fits right into the pump. Go ahead and stick it in the pump. There we go. So plants need food as well as water. Most of that food will come from falling leaves. It will come from naturally in your garden. You can use compost, but we have plant food, which we will add to the water. This stuff is called Maxi Grow. You just pour a little in. In the system, you have to ch add more plant nutrients and water about once a week. So it really maintains itself. So I'm gonna fill the water till it submerges the pump. And once you're ready, I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna see what happens. Perfect. Ready? Okay, here we go. Plug it in. Drum roll. Flute roll, you ready? <laughs> Take 55. Okay, so what happened is it exploded because we didn't have the right size hose. So okay. what we did is we put uh, just a little rubber stopper in there. Do, do, do. Time to plug it in. Oh, yes. And there we go, your very own window garden. <laughs>